Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like a cherry. Come and take a like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If this is your first time to this channel, run on over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this family. Now, if you didn't hit that subscribe button and hit that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, you guys, check this out. Today, baby, we have got some barbecue, a massive barbecue mukbang. You guys, we're going to go ahead and pray, and I'm going to let you know what we're going to get into, okay? We're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, I don't want to wait any longer because I don't want to get cold, but guess what? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out, you guys. Because, baby, y'all see it? Y'all see it? You guys, Big Ben has some southern sweet tea in him. Let's see if you got some refreshing. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, this is what we have. You guys, we've got some country-style ribs in here. We've got some smoked sausage. Look at that. Just look at that, baby. Look at that. We've got plenty of jalapenos. We've got some burnt bologna. And we have some chicken. We've got some coleslaw. And we have some mac and cheese. Over here to the side, I ain't got nothing but your lips hot sauce. And if you would like your bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put it way up at the top in blue so that you couldn't miss it. I've also got some mustard over here. And I have some bread. You guys, this is going to be a little messy. So let me go ahead on, honey. And put our gloves on for two reasons. For one, I don't want this stuff all over my hands. For two, it is a reminder of you that we're in a state right now, you guys in the world, that we need to be protecting ourselves at all times, especially when we're out of our homes. You guys, even protect yourself in your home now. People come up delivering things and stuff and things and stuff. You got to sanitize your doors and, you know, spray disinfectant and everything. But that's all right. We ready, y'all. Let's get it. Okay, you guys. Baby, I have been waiting for this. This macaroni and cheese was made on top of the stove. Baby, I made it when you do the milk and the butter. And then you get your cheese out the pack. And then you get you some Velveeta cheese off the block. And you make you some cheesy macaroni and cheese. There you go. That's going to be the first bite. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Y'all got a little sugar in it. Y'all know I put sugar in every time. It is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Y'all, I have a confession to make. This is my first time barbecuing on the grill myself. It is. Normally, production always does it. But today, I got out there and done it myself. I called Sam on the phone. When I told her, I said, Sam, I want to barbecue. For myself. She said, okay, let's get it. I saw that. But we ain't gonna say it, y'all. It's too early in the game. Okay. Okay, y'all, we finna get to it. Let me raise my mouth. You guys, the barbecue sauce that I chose was sweet baby rays, honey, and I mixed it with the mamba sauce. The DC Capital Mamba sauce that I showed y'all yesterday. I mixed it with that. Okay. Here we go, y'all. We're going to start off one of these ribs. Now, y'all doing my first time now. But we're going to see what, we, what we're working with. And there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, y'all, let's go. Mmm. 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 Oh. It's got the smoky taste, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is done. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Sam's world. I did good, boo. Thank you. 
And then, y'all, I had another phone call. My cousin Tanya, she called me while I was on the phone with Sam. She helped me through it, too. Mmm. 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 It's good, too. <laughs> I did it, y'all. I did it. And this is going to bring on what our conversation is going to be about today, okay? Let me give me some to eat first, though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Y'all, it's tender. I ain't going to lie. I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't. I ain't not know what I was doing, y'all. Mm-hmm. But it's really, really good. It's really good. I got me some bread over here, y'all. I'm going to get me one of these smoked sausages. Y'all, baby, I don't forgot. Let me put this down. Y'all, because we got so much food here, honey, and I know I'm going to eat when they get down, in they get down, sir. Hey, when they get down, in they get down, sir. Hey, y'all, we going to get down circle, baby. We're going to eat. We're going to eat, y'all. I'm going to give me this smoked sausage up here. I'm going to put me some slaw in it, too, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this going to be good. This going to be good. You want a bite? Get you a bite of the smoked sausage. I don't know how they look, but I know it's going to taste good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, that's good. It's mouth watering. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I just get to taste it. <laughs> hey! Y'all, this is good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Mmm. Y'all, we're gonna put some mustard. Mmm. On the smoke sausage. Get you a bite. Get you a bite. We're gonna put some mustard on here, y'all. On our smoke sausage. I dropped some of my slaw there. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, it's good. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, we have the updates today. Mm. Um, the virus, here I am. Y'all, in the state of Tennessee, there's like 1,900 cases here. Y'all, there's almost 500 in the county that I live in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Folks just won't stay at home. Let me tell y'all what happened, though. Today, I had to go to the doctor. I told y'all that yesterday. Honey, when I got to the doctor's office, mm, I had my mask on. I had my gloves on. Mm. I had an extra pair of gloves in my pocket. Mm-hmm. I had my scarf. It was raining here today anyway. Y'all had my scarf. I had on um like a, a jacket with a hood on it. I had my scarf around my neck, but wrapped around my face, tucked in the back up under my hoodie, pulled tight. Bye bye. When I went up in there, I had already called him beforehand, y'all. So I told y'all I wouldn't I wasn't gonna even go. Honey, I got there, I walked in, I stood at the dead. Y'all might think I'm lying, but I was in that office. I didn't even open my mouth, y'all. I didn't open my mouth. I didn't want no Possibilities of anything in my passageway. None. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna give me this bologna now. Let's move this around. Y'all, this is burnt bologna on the grill. I don't know if you like burnt on yours or not, but baby. Baby, baby, baby. And that's what we're going for. 
It's just bologna, honey. And we're going to put up some slaw on that. Thick bologna. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. When y'all do y'all barbecue, do y'all like burn on your bologna and hot dogs? Let me know in the comments. A little lip don't like burning hot dogs. I love it. I want the burn. It just makes it taste better to me. Get you your first bite of the bologna sandwich. Mm. 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 Y'all. Mm. Believe it or not. Like, I like barbecue. I like barbecue on the grill. I really, really do. But it is the smaller parts of the barbecue that I like. Like the hot dogs, the smoked sausage, the bologna. Then would probably be the chicken. First the leg and then the wing. Uh -huh. We like the steaks. The ribs. I like ribs. But not before the bologna and the smoke sauce. The smoke sauce is probably my absolute favorite. Mm-hmm. It's probably my absolute favorite. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm telling y'all. I had already called beforehand. They knew the deal. I walked in the office. I stood there at the den, at the doctor's office. And let them check me in. I never moved. The lady said that. You not even talk. I said, uh-uh. The receptionist, she on this channel. She know I ain't lying. You know I ain't lying, baby. I said, uh-uh. She laughed, she laughed, she laughed, she laughed. Then another one of our ladies came out the back and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> hey. She did. She said, I didn't even know who you were because I was so wrapped up, y'all. I was so wrapped up. And then the receptionist, she told her, she said, he don't even want to talk. I said, mm-mm. They checked me in and sent me on to the back home and got my blood for my PTINR. And when they did, hang, boo! I didn't wait on them to check me out of nothing, hang. Mm-mm. I got up out of there. I'm going to tell y'all something. When she took my blood, I didn't even take my jacket off. I took the glove off of this hand, let her got the bang in my hand, and then y'all, when she got through, I pointed down the glove, she picked up the box, I grabbed me one out, put it back on my hand, and then I bought this junk. I was in and out. Yes, I was. I went to step in there. For what? Mm-mm. Nope. But anyway, we did get that done. Everything was okay. Everything was all right. The doctor called me later and talked to me about my labs. Everything's good. Yeah. But look, y'all. I'm going to get something to eat now. Let's get to the conversation. This is why I want to ask, ask y'all a question, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? And like I said, me, barbecue for the first time in my life on my own, brought about this conversation. I'm going to ask y'all a question. In life, are you the type of person that is mm, that macaroni cheese is good. A little bit ate before I got on here, y'all. When she told me, she said, I love the macaroni and cheese. I said, thank y'all. Well, anyway, in life, you guys, are you like are you like a doer or are you a talker? Which are you? Which of the two are you? Are you the type of person that takes charge and does things? Or are you the type of person that talks your way through most things? Because there is a difference. Sometimes in life, you know, you can get down on yourself, you guys. Or, mm, 
Mmm, that's what about me, y'all. Or you can get in a place in your life where you can get too dependent on other people, no matter who it is. Mmm. Whether it be your doctor, your nutritionist. You know, a lot of times in life, y'all, we sit back and we allow other people to do all the work for us. I'm guilty of it myself. I am. Which is very odd to me because I left my mom's house when I was 17 years old. And I've been grown ever since. I never went back. I've been taking care of my own tail for the last, since I was 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I have. I've always been a doer. Mm-hmm. You know, some people sit back and they complain, they complain, they complain. Oh, this ain't right, that ain't right. But are you a doer? Are you a doer yourself? Because I'm going to tell you something, you guys. Something that resurfaced and set down on me just today. Well, actually a few days ago. But today, it really came to me. Y'all, God gave us all every tool that we needed to succeed. Every one of us. Some of us. Mm. Y'all, this food is good. Some of us didn't get our five senses. There are some of us, even some people I know because of my comments and they told me before. You guys, we have some legion right now that thank me from time to time for like putting the, um, what is the stuff called? Like the subtitles in my videos because they can see, but they can't hear. But they find a way. You know what I'm saying? To make it through life. Which type of person are you? Let me know in the comments. Be truthful. And like I said, all of us, even us doers like myself, sometimes you let your situation and what you're going through in life change who you are. Or change the capability that you know that you have. Well, look. I'm here to tell you today. God made it where because of how many, matter of fact, let me tell you something else too before I go any further. Y'all, I had, or have, because he's still living. He's in a nursing home now, but. Y'all, I have a blind uncle. They've been blind my whole life. He used to sing it when he was younger. But somewhere, in his early 20s, he lost his sight. Y'all, I can remember when I was a child, like basketball games, you know, school functions, because he had children, he had three children. School functions, and he drank. Baby, you like to see my uncle anywhere. At the liquor store just about every day, he drank Mad Dog 2020. Great. I remember. I remember. But I said it to say, he found a way, y'all. He found a way. He used what God gave him. And, you know, he just was determined not to give up. Let me show y'all something. Let me show you the chicken. That a chicken is get you some, get you some, get you some. Mmm. Now nah, that's busting. It truly has the smoky taste to it. But anyway, y'all, he found a way. He did. He found a way to make life as normal as he could. He really did. I think that's something important. And like I said, I'm guilty of it myself. Because I have a husband and I have a small child, seven years old. It's easy for me because I have a disability to say, go get that for me. Can you get that for me? Will you do that for me? And it just sat down on me, you guys, a few days ago that God gave me the will when I got injured to get up out of that bed, get out of that wheelchair and be able to get up and do for myself. And 
I think it's so, so important in life. Even though you lose your way sometimes. Because, you know, like I said, I lose my way. Because I have a husband and I have a daughter. It's easier to just say, can you do this for me? Or do this for me. Or whatever, however it comes about. It's easier that way than to get up and exert myself. But. Oh, 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 there's a God. There's a God. And like I said, all my life, I've been a doer, you guys. I've always been the type of person that I make it happen. You know, if there's a way that it can happen, I make it happen. I've always been that type of person. But somewhere along the lines, I allow my disability to change that go-getter mentality that I have. I did. And now in the situation that we're in right now, you guys, in the United States, it's on my TV right now, that the total fatalities in the United States right now, you guys, is 3,815. Y'all, we got to make a way. We got to make a way, y'all. Y'all, what I'm looking at over there, y'all, the corona pandemic is on my TV. I'm looking at it. You guys, yesterday we had the highest death toll that we've had in the United States since this happened. 565 people in one day. Gone. Lost their lives. And that was a very prominent uh, pastor here in my immediate area that died from the virus mm. here in the last few days. You guys, this stuff is getting so, so, so sad. And the thing about it is, is that, like I'm saying, y'all, we got to make a way. We got to make a way, y'all. We got to make a way. The, the people that are running the country, I'm not going to say that they don't care about us. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we have to make a way, y'all. We have to make a way. You guys have got to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, they're saying that we're in the United States, we're nowhere near peaking. That means that this is going to be going on for, you know, for a while, y'all. And that brings this to my attention. I just thought about it. You guys, we have a Legion member. Uh, actually, we have two that told me in the live the other night. I have forgotten the second one's name. I'm so, so sorry. But you guys, one of our faithful, faithful, Faithful Legion, B Woo. You guys, please, in the comments, I put her name back at the top. She was already in our prayer list, but I put her name back at the top of the prayer list. B W O Woo. You guys, her son is hospitalized because of the pandemic. You guys, let's pray. Y'all know how we do it. Y'all know how we do it. We're strong together. We're strong together. We really are. The Bible says where there are where there are two or more. That meet and agree, God is in the midst. There's a whole bunch of us, y'all. There's a whole bunch of us. I think I said that wrong. It says, where there are two or more that touch and agree, God is in the midst. There's 26,600 plus of us. Y'all, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Bebo, we love you, baby. We love you so, so much. We're praying for you. We hope that your son gets better. We hope that he pulls through this. We're witches, sweetheart. Mwah. Prayer, 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 prayer. Changes things, y'all. Prayer changes things. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all. We got to make a way. You got to stay in your homes. Make a way at your home. I told y'all, Amazon has been to my home more times during this little bit of time we've been quarantined than they ever have in a whole year. They really have. A bougie bite told me to come in. She said, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, Apple. She said, yeah, Amazon getting a lot of them. I said, y'all, Amazon a pimp. <laughs> and even they on the picket line. They outside of Amazon somewhere, y'all. And they, they protest and saying, hey, Amazon not taking care of them. You know, they working them a lot. And stuff like that. There is like a protest in Whole Foods, too. The Whole Foods employees want to be paid double. Double. What they're going to pay to work during the pandemic. And you guys, the grocery store, Walmart, stuff like that, they deserve that. 
they cannot close because those are places that are essential. You know, they got the pharmacy. They sell the disinfectant, the toilet paper, you know, things that people need every day so they can't close. Those workers need something for being in their risk in their lives. They really, really do. Mm-hmm. New York, New Jersey, Florida. Mm. Is it Chicago, too? That's another one. Oh, New Orleans. Y'all, they're out of control. And I have legion from each and every one of those places. Y'all, please be careful. Please be careful. There's nothing out there that is important enough for you to risk your life. It's just really not. It's not, y'all. Y'all, the experts have said untreated. <sighs> they said untreated. The United States could have 1.5 to 2 million deaths from this pandemic. Treated, best case situation, y'all, they're still saying we're going to have 100 to 200,000 now, even if they, you know, come up with something to help us out. Y'all, please be safe and don't let that be you. Don't let one of those be you. But back to our conversation. You guys, we can find a way. God has given you everything in your life. There was a person here not too long ago, a few days ago, that finally got to me and told me. And, y'all, let me take these gloves off. I'm through eating, y'all. That was good, though. For my first time, I think I did marvelous. Let me know in the comments what you think, because uh, I hope you enjoyed it. But you guys, sometimes in life, you need a push. You need someone to tell you, you got this. You got this. To remind you of what's in the inside of you. What you have that no one can take away. The will that God gave you to make it happen for yourself. A person came to me like that a few days ago. And for lack of a better word, he said, get off your ass. And do it for yourself. And do it for yourself. That way you can't complain about how it's done. Or if it's not done to your satisfaction. You know, because some of us are doers. Some of us are talkers. Some of us depend on others to get to where you got to go. Which are you? And if you know that you used to be the other one and you kind of got down because of some situation in your life, I'm here to encourage you. Just like I was encouraged not long ago. Latonya, I love you, baby. I really, really do. You guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It was magnifique. It was magnifique. Let me show y'all this one. Let me show y'all this real. Baby. There may be a thumbnail, y'all. Anyway, like I said, y'all, hope you guys have enjoyed. This is my first time ever barbecuing on the grill by myself. Let me know how y'all think I done. And to close it out, I ain't going to forget. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands. I love you guys so, so much. Let's get that started in the Mugbang community. You guys, to all my new legion, I thank you so much for being here. I hope and pray that you guys are being safe. Me and my legion want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. We love you all. You could have chose to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here with us. You guys, let's please not forget to continue to pray for those people in Jonesboro, Arkansas that went through the tornado. To all my existing legion, yeah, I went from one to another. You are the best in the business. I love you all so, so much. I love you guys for encouraging me each and every day. I love you guys so, so, so much. So, 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 so much. I really, really do. You guys, we finna get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. Don't forget, you guys. Don't forget to be washing your hands. Don't forget to be being safe. Don't forget when you leave, put your gloves on. Cover your face if you can. Get you a mask, whatever you can do to make sure that you're safe. Don't forget to take the gloves off before you get back to your vehicle because you don't want to put anything in the inside of your vehicle and take it home that you got in your gloves, okay? I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? One other thing, and then we're going to go, y'all.
I love you guys so, so, so much. I really, really do. You guys, we can do this. We can find a way to do this, you guys, okay? We can do it. Let's do it. Stay home. Protect yourself. I love you all, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember, there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Woo. Oh, y'all, that was good. Y'all, that was great. Y'all, I think I did good. It tastes good. It really, really do. It tastes really, really good. I did. Y'all ate as much as I could. That food was good. Anyway, you guys. I just wanted to make sure, because like I said, I needed a little encouragement. I needed a pat on my back um, for myself a few days ago. So I want to make sure that I encourage you. You guys, we can find a way. It doesn't matter what God has put in your path. If God brought you to it, he's already made a way for you to get through it. All you got to do is have faith. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. And everything will be okay. I love you guys so, so, so much. I love you so, so much. I'm going to see you guys next time. Be safe, you guys. Please. Mwah. Yeah.